now just five days away from that crucial first presidential debate. And this morning, Donald Trump is fighting back against tough new questions about his charitable foundation and whether it violated laws that prohibit nonprofit leaders from using charity money to benefit themselves or their businesses. Under scrutiny again this morning, Donald Trump's charitable foundation. New York's attorney general, a Democrat, telling NBC News he's looking into whether Trump used money from the charity to pay for his own legal settlements. The Washington Post reporting Trump spent $258,000 to settle various lawsuits. That includes a deal with a golfer who made a million-dollar hole-in-one during a charity tournament at one of Trump's courses, but later settled for $158,000 because of a rules dispute. That payment reportedly coming not from a business or personal account, but from the Trump Foundation. Instead of those businesses paying money, Trump had his charity pay money. Uh, that's against the rules if you use it, your charity's money to pay off uh, debts your businesses have incurred. The Post also reporting this four-foot-tall portrait of Trump, located at his Doral Resort in Florida, was purchased with $10,000 of charity money. Overnight, the Trump campaign responding, accusing the Post of getting their facts wrong, but not identifying a single example adding there was not and could not be any intent or motive for the Trump Foundation to make improper payments. Still, the, the Republican nominee is the teeing worst, off. I mean, honestly, places like Afghanistan are safer than some of our inner cities. Mocking Hillary Clinton for taking a day off the trail, tweeting, sleep well, Hillary, see you at the debate. In fact, Clinton spent the day working, according to aides, hosting a counterterrorism call with national security advisors. Meanwhile, Donald Trump Jr. is still under fire for a tweet comparing refugees to poisoned candy, an analogy he's made before. We had a bowl of Skittles on this table, and three of the thousand in there were poisonous. Would you take from the bowl? You wouldn't until you could figure out which ones were bad. Twitter igniting with outrage, including this iconic photo of a young Syrian refugee. Trump's running mate, Mike Pence, responding with NBC's Kelly O'Donnell. I think what's insensitive is to turn a blind eye to policies that are very likely compromising the safety and security of the American people. The campaign blaming the firestorm on people who would rather be politically correct than safe, praising Don Jr. as a tremendous asset. Ironically, according to the BBC this morning, the British man who took that original photo, that image of the bowl of Skittles used in Donald Trump Jr.'s tweet, was himself a refugee. Matt and Savannah. Peter Alexander, thank you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.